Next question is from Kirsten Kimura. What still surprises you guys about each other, even after all these years of knowing each other so well and working together? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the question because I don't think, well, maybe, maybe you guys, I don't think anything surprises me anymore with these guys. I've been, we've all been together now for eight years plus. Um, so I, I would say what continues to ex impress me because I'm still impressed um, but nothing surprises me. I feel like I, I think we've built a brotherhood and a bond and a consistency with each other for so long now. At least that's how I feel about you guys. Like when I, when I think I, about I don't like you guys that much, <laughs> <laughs> like I can't remember the last time someone did something. I was like, wow, I was really surprised Sal did yeah, that. It's yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I know you all so well, That's true. but yeah. I'm continually impressed with what everybody individually does. So I, I would that's say a, well, that's a good way to say it because I, I, I can agree with that. I think um, what's interesting is just when I think I figured one of you guys out. What I mean by that is uh, like, oh, you know, these are the challenges that they have and this is the thing that, you know, that they like or whatever. Everybody's so growth minded mm -hmm. that what I expect now is the unexpected. So mm -hmm. now I expect the unexpected. I expect that someone's going to act in a way that is evolved from where they were yesterday. And mm -hmm. that constantly happens. And what's cool about that is, and this is, I think one of the, one of the, my favorite things about working uh, on this team is that it pushes me to do the same thing because mm -hmm. because I, if, otherwise I'm left in the dust. Everybody else keeps rising up. That's I'm it. left in the dust if I don't do that for myself. Um, and that's fun for me at least. I enjoy yeah. I enjoy that. I think for me, yeah, it's just noticing those elevations uh, within you guys and then seeing that and being like, oh wow, like Sal's on a new level, Adam's on a new level, Doug's really like like killing it, you know, and like for certain aspects of whatever we're handling within the business or just like the thought process now that goes into some of our content, um, you just start to see like just just where we used to be and like what the struggles used to consist of. And then all of a sudden now that's not even a, an issue. That's not even something we're even talking about or or, or, or trying to figure out each individual person is figuring out their own way of, of elevating their process. Well, I'll go around and, and I'll, I'll be specific for the audience so they know, because I do have things for you guys. Like one of the things that continues to, Jesus Christ, got something in my eye. So you're you're crying right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always, wish. Always the emotional one. You wish you get that emotional one. <laughs> no, wait, I'll tell you something. Excel. Maybe I will. Maybe I will when I get going here. No, uh, one of the things that it continues to impress me uh, with Sal, right? So it doesn't matter what is going on in his personal life. He could be dealing with some crazy shit behind the scenes that nobody knows about, whether it be uh, someone in his family. Uh, we, Him and I could have just got into like a crazy fucking heated argument. He has had the ability to like turn it on immediately. I mean, we rely heavily on him to be the the voice of the brand. He does the most interviews. He gets on big shows and he had, it doesn't matter what's going on, his ability to turn it on and, and be professional and elevate us every single time is the consistency is, is unreal. Mm -hmm. And I think that it highlights the, the professionalism and talent to be able to do that. Like if, ever, if you're feeling it and you're in the mood and you love what you do, like it's easy to go out there and do it. But I think what separates, and I feel like this is like in sports too, like the, the greats have the ability to have a shit storm going on in their life and then still be able to show up and perform at the highest level. So that continues to now. I'm not surprised by it anymore. So that's yeah. why it doesn't surprise me because we've been doing this for so long, and there's been so many of those situations where I'm like, God damn, dude, he just went from like yelling with me to like all of a sudden, hey, I'm Sal the Stefano. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> awesome. That's yeah, yeah really, really <laughs> totally, good to yeah. be able to do the that. Switch just goes right. On, yeah. I've seen that so many times now that I'm never surprised, but I'm continually uh, impressed by it. Uh, Justin has this uh, ability to no matter no matter what critic critics say about him or think that what he needs to do like he allows to he shuts down all the noise about everybody else and continues to focus on himself and his personal growth and doesn't get distracted by that stuff. He's continued to take on so much responsibility that doesn't get a lot of knowledge or get acknowledgement because it's not like Sal where he's on the forefront and and the voice and talking a lot. There's so much that has to happen behind the scenes. He's got to be the most secure, one of the most secure people I know. That's right. Yeah, and and, and then also to share this platform with two motor mouths like myself <laughs> and Sal and to not allow that to uh, affect his ego behind the scenes. 
I've talked about our team. This is a perfect time to talk about this too because the Warriors just won the championship. I talk about how our team has that similar chemistry of you have the and I would think of us as like the three core players in the Warriors and why they work so well is that none of them feel like they have to be the superstar, but yet all of them are true superstars. And and Justin, I think, is the glue to that. He embodies that the most, has the ability to bring as much to the table as the other guys, but doesn't need the the same attention from it, the same accolades from it. And so again, doesn't surprise me because I've known this guy for 15 years. It's why we were so good together back in the days. Similar to him in that Doug is like this. So hands down, uh, nobody, I think, outworks anybody more. Nobody outworks Doug. Uh, and he does. And there, in fact, if you were to probably ask the other guys everything Doug does, I guarantee they would miss at least 75% of actually what he does. Yeah, probably. Truth. And he does, and he just does it. I he think just, he just searches Google sometimes <laughs> for us when we ask him. He does, he does, <laughs> he does it uh, so consistently, and doesn't complain about it, doesn't bitch about it. He takes a lot of the stress and p- pressure of the 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 ugliest part and the unfun part of the business, the parts that the other three guys definitely do not like to do, don't want to do, but is necessary to scale something to this size. And he and it's not been for a stretch or he's hot for a while and then he's off and then he turns it on a little bit. He has been fucking consistent day in and day out for eight years and doesn't need anybody to pump his tires and tell him he's great. And again, it doesn't surprise me because I've been with him for eight years. So I know that he's just going to show up every single day. And so, but it, it continues to impress me because I have my moments. Like I get hot and cold. Like we can talk to me about I'm moody. <laughs> I have moments where I'm on fire. I'm hitting on all the cylinders. I feel like I'm, I'm managing all these things. And the other times I'm like, fuck, I'm overwhelmed. And I'm like feeling sorry for myself. I feel like Doug is never like that. I feel like he's he handles more than anybody handles, and he never needs anything about it, and or doesn't need anybody to tell him that he's doing a great job, and he's just consistent. Yeah, so, I agree with you 100. Yeah. Doug is um, he's master splinter, uh, like with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no, I swear to God, you know the, you know how many times I've looked back to how ha- like, totally dude, like what like how Doug reacted to some of the crazy stupid shit that we've done or wanted to do, mm-hmm. and he's so ninja about it. He allows us to think that or feel like we're the ones that are doing it when in reality he's guiding us. And I only see it when I look back. I never see it in the moment. Mm-hmm. Like how many times we've done something and Doug's like, yeah, let's okay. We'll go with that. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then what That's about this? Idea. And what about that? And then afterwards I'm like, God damn it. Doug totally moved that in the right direction. But, I, and you know why this is so interesting. So like Ninja, because uh, the three of us do not like to be told what to do. Yeah. So the way he does it is so brilliant that, like I said, I can't tell until I look back. So, and then I said that about you, Justin, just, I've never met someone as secure with themselves as you, which is pretty cool because, um, you let people be, uh, who they are. Cause when you're around someone that's really secure, then you don't feel like you have to be anything, but Adam, Adam can see business trends and identify talent like, uh, like a psychic. It's really interesting. Like he'll see things in, in the business cycle, he'll see things in people. He's the all watching eye, and he'll see talent and, and put things together yeah. like a genius. And it's uh, it's really really interesting. He manages the business side of things, and everybody else doesn't just let him do it. We're all happy that he does it because he's the best at it. So, yep. no, it's pretty cool. It's 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 a cool team to work with. And what's cool now is we're developing a team outside of what you guys see here on the show. That is really, I mean, we have a YouTube team now that we're all excited about. That's putting the show together on YouTube. So, and you'll notice that the show continues to improve on YouTube, and that's uh, largely a result of uh, this team that we're kind of putting together. So, but you know what? You know what's really cool about this? The, the, and I like to go esoteric. So here I go. So everybody, <laughs> everybody, get ready. Sal's gonna get esoteric. No, I. You know what it is? Is that the 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 everybody is believes in the bigger purpose and what we're doing. So we have fun. We joke around. We talk about the business, but it all boils down to all of us really believe um, in what we're trying to do, and that has saved us a lot uh, because there's many times we've turned down opportunities and money because it didn't jive Mm -hmm. with the bigger purpose, and on its surface, you would say, stupid decision. You just turned down $50,000. You just turned down this big opportunity, and all of us, and even though we toy with the idea, it always boils down to it doesn't feel right. That's not that's not, you know, in line with what we're trying to do. And then it works out and then it works out and it works out the way it's supposed to. So it's really exciting. I think 
you know, Sal and I voice our opinion. I really want to hear what Doug and Justin have to say about that. I think this is a really cool question to ask the two of you, uh, what you think. And I'm sure the audience cares yes. more about what you guys think, actually. Than <laughs> <laughs> the observers. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I exactly. Because like I, I feel yeah. like you guys are the ultimate observers. Bro, and Sal and I are constantly giving our opinions <laughs> all the time. So I believe the audience probably gives two shits what Sal and I think. Yeah. And actually probably would like to hear from the there's two of you. There's definitely differences with you guys, but there's also so many similarities. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, and, and again, that's, I think, where sometimes there's a bit of a clash. But honestly, look at you two guys more as the push and the pull. And uh, I think that Adam is is amazing at at keeping us really focused on growth and really like driving us uh, further than I think we would go collectively on our own. I just really think that you are the best fitted for driving and steering us uh, further than I would have thought we'd, we'd ever be. Uh, so I think that's it's just been an amazing to see you know, how you've been leading uh, our team. And I, I definitely give you a lot of credit for that. And like everything else you do behind the scenes with, you know, managing, I mean, I don't even know how many people you manage. You manage like <laughs> fucking everybody. So, and you don't get a lot of credit for that. And I want to make sure, you, you know, you're highlighted for that. And Sal is just a machine. Uh, I've never seen somebody like so uh, just on the spot, just has like this, fire hose of content ready to go. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know how you do it. Uh, I know that like, there's a lot of things in there that, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've banked over the years. Uh, but just your ability to communicate has made me better. Uh, like I picked up a lot of that from you. Um, and that's been my biggest weakness. So most of my, most of my, um, ability now to uh, communicate and, and talk through, um, opinions and, and arguments and um, just conveying information has been, you know, a part of like how you communicate. It's really been helpful for me. Uh, and then just also to just keeping us grounded. So I think you probably do the best job of keeping us grounded on the mission, like the integrity piece, like always just kind of filtering through whatever we're doing is like, is this really who we are? You know, is this, this is what we're about. Uh, and I think that that's probably, you know, the biggest role here is, is, you know, you, you definitely like embody that. Uh, and then with Doug, it's, again, it's just, it's rock solid Doug. Doug is, uh, the, the guy that just like, man, you don't even have to think that, that Doug is, is Doug doing something? Doug's doing something right now. <laughs> and we were asking for questions. He's like doing some financials. He's doing, uh, you know, he's talking to, to, to our accountant. He's like, you know, Doug is it, again to his ability to work and just, uh, stay consistent and just, you know, press, uh, like I, I haven't seen somebody work on that level before. And I, I think it's amazing you know, and we were, again, we'd be dead without Doug. Let's yeah. be honest. Like he's just, he does so many things. Uh, so definitely want to give you credit for that. And also just like your attitude, I think is, is definitely what keeps us. And I'm trying to be in that kind of mentality of keeping it chill and like kind of bringing it back and, and calming us down sometimes. Cause we get so hyped up. Uh, but Doug is, is definitely Zen. And we need we need you to always be Zen, Doug. I don't know how you, I don't know how you're Zen when you're dealing. I, I hate financials. Yeah. Like, that would drive me insane. I would be constantly raging. He smiles uh, too the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So, but yeah, I, honestly, I, it's it, it's really cool to just see everybody in their roles, just you know, increasing their abilities and and developing uh, to a, a level I've I've never seen. So it's called grin and bear it. <laughs> with the financials. I mean, I love what we do, but I hate half the things I do. Okay. Yeah. But I, I do it because I love it. But, you know, going back to you guys, I mean, Adam, I mean, you know, echoing what Justin said, you you are the CEO, CEO of the company because you are the best at that. You, you see the big picture. Again, you're touching all types of things. I mean, you oftentimes bring up things like, have we monetized YouTube clips yet? And it's like, you have your finger on the pulse of so many different things in the company. And I also want to say that you have incredible negotiating skills. Oh, yeah. That's I have listened one. to Adam 100%. on the phone with partners, and he does not budge. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the type dude. of guy who would yeah. crumble yeah. under most of these circumstances. Like, okay, yeah, we'll give you more of this. Or we'll do that. 
No, Adam doesn't do that. He'll and get you the best deal. He'll get you the <laughs> best it. deal. So yeah. if you ever need anything negotiated, uh, ask Adam. Not, all the sponsors are not going to call him anymore. <laughs> 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 talk to Sal. They were so all happy the potential when they ones. They're like, like, oh, we don't get a deal with that motherfucker anymore. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, and if, as far as Sal is concerned, one of the things that always it doesn't necessarily surprise me anymore, but every time it happens, uh, I, I really enjoy it is that you're super empathetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if somebody, you know, is having a challenge or, you know, you're just touching base with people and, you know, doing things that are very thoughtful, yeah. uh, things I don't think about doing. You know, sometimes I just get caught up in my own world. I don't think about other people, to be honest. Uh, I was a solo entrepreneur for so many years. I just kind of thought of my own thing. But you're really good at, you know, seeing people, getting the pulse on people, and uh, really, you know, checking in with them and being very empathetic. Now, Justin, again, uh, extremely creative guy. I bring this up every time, but he's always shocking me with some of the things that he comes up idea wise <laughs> with, you know, just like his Z-Biotics commercials, for example, super creative stuff. And your delivery on these things is just always improved. And that includes, you know, with the show, just watching you grow with the show uh, I mean, you get definitely the the gold star for that. You know, you've come from, you know, a guy that was not really excited to be in front of a microphone. It was not your thing. And now you've made it your thing, mm -hmm. which is absolutely fantastic. And because of that, this the level of the show has gone to the next level because if it was just Adam and Sal, mm -hmm. it'd be very informative. It would be fun, but not quite more as hate. fun. Right? A lot more hate. <laughs> 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 Yeah. No, nothing, nothing, nothing yeah. surprising though, right? That's how I feel. I nothing feel like, really surprising. I feel no. like that we we've been together long enough now that that that's everybody's character, man. I mean, yeah. it really it really has. And maybe the first couple years together, there was a little bit of surprise, like on those things. But I think uh, that we know each other so well now. But it does continue to impress me because it, it, you know eight years of doing something and to consistently show up and be that and then to the point that Sal was making is growth on top of that yep. so it's like continue to improve but I can always count on that and I think Justin said it best too is just like if I'm not if I'm not growing leveling up I know the other guy we're, we're all doing that so much that I always feel that pressure to be pushing myself because I know my partners are and so yep. I'll never let off the throttle because yeah you know what the best the best thing is that uh, you hear about this all the time like a band or a group and then you know hmm. one or two of them get the big ego thing no, there's no question about that at all here at all. Like yeah. I know it's like do or die. So this whole thing could burn down. Someone could do something stupid. We're all going down with the ship. So I just want people to know we're uncancelable in that, in that particular way. <laughs> you take one of us down, we're all going to hold on together and we're going to sink with the ship, but we'll be back. So burn anyway, the bridges. It's a yeah. good time. Look, if you like our information, head over to mindpumpfree.com and check out our guides. We have guides that can help you with almost any health or fitness goal. You can also find all of us on social media. So Justin is on Instagram at Mind Pump Justin. Adam is on Instagram at Mind Pump Adam. And you can find me on Twitter at Mind Pump Sal.